Welcome to the NRL previews for round six of the 2024 season. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Josh Mansour unpacking all the games of this week. But this Saturday afternoon is my game of the round. By far. We're in Auckland and it's two informed sides colliding in both uh, the Warriors and Seagulls. Let's head to the Warriors first because sure. I'm going to talk to you about doubting the Manly side last week. <laughs> a dominant performance uh, against South Sydney last round. They yep. get two of their weapons back into their artillery as well too mm. with Dallin and also Kurt Capewell. Mm. Add to that, Sean Johnson, he was in form last week as well. From those players that are coming into the mix, what's your point of view? What is working so well for the Warriors this week? The well, well, I think it's their synergy, their cohesion, their, their will to, to fight for every ball. Um, that's you know, like it's their effort areas is second to none. And I think uh, Angel Webster has taken that philosophy from the Penrith Panthers and adopted it with the, uh, the Warriors. And you can just see it. Um, he's got proven winners in that side. Kurt Capewell, like you said, Sean Johnson's back to playing his Vincent self and. You know, his form last year was, I thought it was a bit unfor um, unfortunate to lose out to the Daily M, but, you know, he's kicked off this year in, in a familiar fashion. Uh, he's been obviously pivotal in their attack. Um, He's just, he's just been outstanding. I can't wrap him enough, but the guy that I really want to wrap is uh, Wade Egan. Yep. Um, he's a guy that has been a bit of an unsung hero for the Warriors the last couple of years, and he's just done so much good things for him, particularly around the ruck. Um, there was an amazing line break assist um, uh, for Shans. Uh, and I think it was in the second half against the Rabbitohs last week, which set up uh, Sean Johnson. And, and with that as well, like you look at all their line breaks, it's just worries in the frame constantly. They're just constant friends across the park, and uh, yeah, they're just excited to watch. All right, well, it's one exciting team to another. <laughs> uh, you, had, you had your doubts last week, which is what I'm going to uh, bring up as well too. <laughs> but it, it was a very impressive outfit against the oh. The Panthers, yeah. yeah. Well, if I was going to judge them with those two games, well, we look at the Dragons, like, there wasn't much motivation going into that game. And then when you look at the Panthers, they're coming up against the Premiership heavyweights, Daddy Cherry Evans, 310th game, playing at Manly, sold out crowd. They had all the reasons to win that game. But the games, like, these big games, they, they definitely come, come to play. But it's the lower teams where, you know, they can drop their guard a little bit, get a bit comfortable, and, you know what, like, the Dragons absolutely rolled them in that game. So uh, this game, I'm sure they're going to turn out with, turn up with a good, good attitude. Um, um, they know the Warriors are a good side. Um, the Warriors aren't flying under the radar anymore. Either, either is Manly. Yeah. So, uh, like you said, it is going to be the game of the week, in my opinion. Um, you know, both sides have an opportunity to win this game. Um, it's going to be end-to-end -end footy, but again, I feel like the team that's going to win this game is who obviously makes the less errors and uh, gets in that grind mentality. There's um, going to be some big battles across the field. I mean, you look at your two everywhere. fullbacks for starters. I mean, look at the forward pack as well too. There's going to be some epic encounters. I'm just a bit worried about uh, the back three for Manly. Obviously, Tommy Turbo does an amazing job, but then you've got you know, a bit of inexperience with Jackson Polo and Tommy Talao. Tommy Talao is a bit of a, a more of a specialist centre playing wing, so there are a few question marks there in which the Warriors might exploit, and you saw Sean Johnson absolutely peppering Isaac Thompson last week, which I'm, I'm sure they're going to do the same to the wingers as well. Okay, so you pick this week. You know what? I know you had a kick in your step. We uh, this <laughs> when I walked to the office this morning, but you know I'm if take I, it away. If, <laughs> if I had to pick, I'm going to probably go to Warriors. Saw that crowd in New Zealand. Um, you know the, the whole country is absolutely buzzing, and uh, I think they just scraped this one. All right, well, Josh and I remain so fighting and at odds this week. <laughs> but thank you very much. As we have mentioned, it is another sellout home crowd for the Waz. So stay tuned to NRL.com for all your rugby league news and views. But if you don't have tickets for this game, you can watch it across Foxtel Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 3 p.m.